Hello friends of terrain building and welcome to another Middle Earth terrain building tutorial. Today I want to show you how to build a Rohan camp with tents. For this I would like to demonstrate one possible technique and I also want to show you how to build beamed scatter terrain around a field camp and at the same time how to spruce up old tents a little bit. I want to show you all these techniques and possibilities and wish you a lot of fun with the tutorial. seen a lot of time-lapse footage of how this tent was created here. For the tent, I used my usual techniques. First, I cut a block from XPS foam whose sides I beveled and I cut the cuboid to an octagon. I glued the edges with appropriate pieces of wood to indicate the tent sticks. The surfaces I glued again with toilet paper and then painted with a printed symbol. I use this, this technique so I don't have to draw freehand. 
I have now made this one tent, but of course, I don't want to show you just one. I also want to spruce up some old tents a bit, and that's what I want to show you next. For this, I want to decorate the tents with some Rohan shields, quivers, and capes. Finally, I want to show you how I built some scatter terrain to the field camp with a lot of great sponsored products from the German shop Kobold Nest. I'll get back to you on that in more detail in a moment. of the tents and how you can simply decorate tents. But of course, a terrain table with only tents is not that exciting. So I want to add a bit of scattered terrain so that a bit more variety comes into the terrain table. These terrain pieces are meant to symbolize life in the field camp. I got a very nice port from Cobalt Nest. By the way, at Kobold Nest, you get a 10 euro voucher code that you can use. I link you all the details in the info box. Here I have sent some very nice things with which you can make a field camp beautiful. In the first bag are killed animals that serve as a food source. Of course, you have to feed in a field camp and accordingly a few campfires are also included. In the next bag are then also a few scoop pots over campfires or roast skeevers. In addition, here are a few more things that you can simply put on tables. For example, here are soup bowls, a basket of breads or a sliced ham. With the soup bowls, I have something special in mind. You will see that later. Furthermore, there are a few other little things such as swords, shields, a few quivers. This, is also fits, this also fits directly the makeshift forge with anvil, a, a grindstone, a small water container. My personal highlight for the terrain can be seen in this small bag. These small horse stages are printed so small that you can hardly see them on the camera. These little horses will later represent the troop planning for the Pelennor fields. This is where the strategy for the battle is planned and discussed. Maybe you know from Game of Thrones the table of Restauros on Dragonstone, on which all the house coats are small stages. I would like to build this based on that. These horse stages represent the riders and the orcs should be indicated with small stones. I'll take you through many time lapses here and report back when everything is built.
the camp area is now completed. You can see here, firstly, the whole scattered terrain with many different small details. Eowyn's little cooking area, nobody wants to eat her soup. Then we have the hunted animals here. We have the little strategy table with the little horses. You can see the horsemen of Rohan ultimately overrunning the orcs on the Pelennor. Next, we see the paddock and down here another little makeshift blacksmith shop. These are the little scattered terrain pieces that I just added to. Then here we have a king's tent from Theoden and next to it some more old tents that I built a long time ago. These tents I've added a little bit more and some details. This is the new Rohan army camp terrain and I want to show you all of this right now on the finish table. After that, the tutorial is finished.